Hi guys, Lee here from Trading College with your market update. Okay, it is Tuesday, it feels like a Monday, but we had a day off on Monday. Looking at the markets here, we're still in um, summer holiday trading volumes. It's still quite low. Uh, last Friday, you want to said that last Friday when the um, the Dow and the S&P and the FTSE were dropping dramatically. But it, it's still traditionally um, slow times for trading here. We've only gone until the end of this week and then we should be back into normal volumes in the markets. But there is plenty of opportunities to be had still. Let me show you. So looking at the FTSE 100, Tuesday morning trade here. We got this move out the gate. Red PTS this morning. Uh, we're looking at that very early on this morning. Uh, in the live trading room as we got those nice PTS short signals off. Managed to grab, we entered around uh, 20 pounds a point, we entered at around 77, um, 70, 70, 77 zone. Managed to grab some profits there. But the we weren't looking for a big move in the FTSE today. We weren't looking for a, a major drop here. Let me show you why. Um, if you look at the four hour time frame, so this is, I'm sure I've done some training and coaching with you on this before regarding looking at multiple time frames. Um, remember the bigger time frames always lead, all right? So you've got the bigger time frames, could be four hour daily, 60 um, weekly time frames. But here's this morning's trading, okay? This is the four hour time frame. So it was red on the one hour and we took the short, but then we had this trend predict predictor firing a green arrow. Now what that means is that the downside is limited here. So the short side in the FTSE was limited here because we had that green arrow already in play from 4 a.m. this morning. So Tuesday morning, 4 a.m., the green trend predictor was telling us that the next candlestick could be an up one and the previous and the next few could be up ones as well. So we were just out of that trade, get out. You know, it's not going to go any further. In fact, look for some maybe reversals here to the short side. So we reverse quite nicely. We do have um, a white PTS on the four hour. So just telling us that the volumes are still quite low. And then we got a reversal here pushing up to 71.01. All right. So good trade, but it was a trade where we, you know, we're not we're not going for a big profit you know we're looking for a small move here and I think it's important when you're trading um, swing trading or day trading you know what's your profit target what are you trying to achieve on this trade are you trying to go for a big move big profit or are you trying to go for a small move which means you need to be more active to get in and out of these trades okay so this morning's trade was pretty much a small move um, and you know bringing in um, just over 20 points on on that so go and look at the daily time frame here on the FTSE and let's have a look at the DAX as well um, we've come down really nicely here we've got pro trend system short there's the stop there's first profit target there's second profit target 70 30 now we're starting to sort of rally back up a little bit here now this eight period moving average we could actually break through it and get to this white line here and then it would be great if we could get another round of trend predictor shorts. So we may have to be a little bit patient here because there's nothing setting up for new short trades just yet. If we get another red PTS, that will be a new short signal. So we've got blue PTS is here, blue PTS is here. a new one setting up here, it hasn't closed yet, it is Tuesday midday time and so I'd want to see another round of red to get short this market. Taking a look at the DAX, let's see where we are here on the German DAX as well. You see on the DAX we're already turning green on the PTS so this is actually quite strong today. Trend predictor on Sunday night, gap down, push this market back up so really nice uh, move to the upside. In fact in our WhatsApp trading group uh, I was talking about on Friday when you get a big move down on Friday um, you often get a gap down when the market opens on Sunday evening. Currency pairs and in stock indices. So if you get a really big move on Friday, you know, I was still shorting the Dow and, and literally adding to the position because on Sunday night when the market's open uh, for trading, you tend to get the gap down and then there's that big gap here that needs to be filled. And that's exactly what it was here. This big gap needs to be filled. 
and uh, certain strategies you could have done on that. All right. So just to summarize here, I think, you know, good morning session, even though it was quite slow at times, I think we've got to just respect that we are in summer doldrums still until the end of this week. Doesn't mean the markets can, can't explode higher or dramatically drop again. But the probabilities are that this could be a little bit quieter this week. Maybe Thursday, Friday, we pick it up a little bit. I don't know, but it feels a little bit like it's summer trading still. And, and then next week, as we get into September, I think that there's more opportunities. In fact, I think it's going to be a great move into the Christmas period. All right. So speak to you soon, guys, and have a great rest of the day. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel here, guys. Hit the subscribe button below this video and you will get notifications on the next trading update. update. So I'll speak to you soon, guys. Take care. Hit that subscribe button and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.